This podcast is part of the Big Heads Media Podcast Network. Go to BigHeadsMedia.com for more great podcasts. The Disorder of the Jungle. Water. The Mob's Fury. Water. Are you thirsty? Water. Uh, Mike, can you can you get Cody some water? water. Super Media Bros. <laughs> your water yes awesome well now that cody's hydrated i think we can actually start the show yes oh okay you're done with water <laughs> yes was it refreshing yes was it high quality yes that's good because it came from these guys fuck yeah it's a riot damn it mm-hmm. it's a riot of taste buds yeah welcome to episode 119 of the super media bros podcast i'm in that agent raw and i am not water no that is okami yes Okami of water. Okami of water. Of exactly. water. Yes. <laughs> We're back with another For Your Reviewing Pleasure episode. We last left you with Throttle. And, oh. and, and the Yum Bum and the Oh. But we're back with water. Not yeah. really. We're back with another. Just, just a bottle of water. <laughs> just a bottle of water. Just slap that on the episode tag. It's like water. Water. No, this one... A little late to the party. We both really thoroughly enjoy this album, but it's been out since late last year. We were kind of thinking of like, what can we review? Because there's a lot of people out there that are going to take our shit down if we put their music on here. So I was like, you know what? Why don't we do the Dogma Resistance LP from Riot? Because why the fuck not? Because it's a fucking awesome album. Beginning to end. Well, eh, beginning to end-ish. Beginning to... We'll get there. Yeah. That's what we're going to say. Beginning till we get there. Yeah. So before we jump into it, we're going to take care of a little business first, and then we'll come back. So let's check out the Voices of Misery. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's a nerd. And nerdette. From the Voices of Misery podcast. If you want a show that's about pretty much anything, it's a variety show about life, love, mental health, the pursuit of happiness, and a ton of different interviews going from Karen Parsons to Ava Devine and other various adult film stars to just random people on the street that I think are interesting. You should give us a shot. Voices of Misery podcast. Voices of Misery Podbean.com at Voices of Misery on Twitter and Voices of Misery anywhere and anywhere you can find your favorite podcast. Give us a shot if you're not easily offended. Hell yeah. Let's jump into this motherfucking album, dude. So there are gonna be three songs in this album that are just three gaps. Like this little bridges, basically. They're bridges over the water. Right. <laughs> This is the first one, uh, Overture 1990. And exactly as it states, A state of chaos and disorder it's, is upon us. It's an overture. There is a quite a bit of orchestral like use in this album, which is really cool. It's very well done. This is going to be a very epic build. Like when you listen to it from start to finish... It's a good build into the next track. Jungle Fury. Jungle motherfucking Fury. Not Nick Fury. Jungle Fury. Yes. It's a fucking banger. I love the last drop. Mm-hmm. The song just kicks so much fucking ass. Let's just not talk about it. Just keep on and let it rock let you. Let you decide, yeah. Is it going to kick you in the nuts? It will. In your right jungle nuts. Now. Like, huh. imag- imagine Jumanji to this. That's a pretty cool thought. Yeah. I was going to say also, imagine a Mortal Kombat fight scene to this. Like, in a jungle? The jungle. Not just a jungle, but the, the jungle. jungle. The yes. Amazon. The Damazon. <laughs> there you go. That's the name of the map, the Damazon. The Damazon. <laughs> what island do you and Cody live on? The Damazon. Where there's plenty of water. Went to the we, Amazon. We promise that is going to make a lot of sense when we get there. Yeah. This is not just an inside joke. There is relevance to this. Damn it. 
Amazon. To Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> so that sounds like something you would say when you get pissed off at Amazon. Amazon. Amazon dot com. <laughs> they didn't deliver in two days. An intro and one song into this album. So far, so good. Jungle Fury is very well done. Very traditional, like dubstep, but then it has that just tribal jungle essence to it, especially with that second drop, because you feel like you're being stampeded with like all these animals coming at you in the middle of this. It's a fuck, dampede. This fuck fest, you know? <laughs> it's a dampede in the Damazon. Yeah. You dampede yourself in the dampede. <laughs> yeah, it'll make you dampede yourself. But no, like, I, I love the energy of this song. It's just so explosive. And it definitely has that like jungle, like beat jungle drum to it. Now, like, I mean, there's really not much to that say about jungle it. jungle love. Yeah. Very epic. Very awesome. I like the next one too. Fun fact this wasn't the original version of this song. There was actually the original release back when Riot first came onto Monster Cat. And that was, pff, I think, a year before this album came out, roughly, or a little bit before that. But the song's called Disorder, but it's. Parentheses rebirth, which basically means VIP, you know, variation in pro- uh, production. I was waiting on you to say, and then in parentheses it says until the brink of dawn. <laughs> I wrote this for you, baby. It's disorder, and then in parentheses it says rebirth. <laughs> it's time for drum and bass. Yes, it is. You out there should be all about that drum and bass and the treble. Main just, thing, main just a- thing main thing is if you're not jumping to this shit you're dead like you're just like soulless are you dead to me you're dead dead D-E-D like how can you not dance to this how can you not like jump up and headbang to this how do you not want to just fuck shit up when this comes on go to the gym to this shit Dude, could you imagine somebody like bench pressing to this? Like how like they're not even taking their time and you know they're just doing their reps. They're just like <laughs> Well they listen to Overture 1990 and they're like uh-huh, uh-huh, and then Jungle Fear's like <gasps> and then fucking disorder's like fuck <laughs> throws the damn weights into the mirrors and shit. Throw his uh water at the coach. <laughs> Real hard. His fucking joke of water. <laughs> Splash. Yeet. And throws it right <laughs> at him. So far, still energetic, upbeat. Kicking serious fucking ass all over the place. Dare I say I like this version better? It's definitely a lot better. I will say that too. The first start, the first version was good. It was a good introduction to their music at the time. But they they evolved so much since then. And this actually shows a lot of taste in their music. Speaking of taste, are you ready to get to that water? <sighs> okay. This... this- <laughs> What, what, kind, what kind of water? Yeah, but <laughs> black water. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this this song is the reason why water has been happening because because fuck face here. Yeah, because we started when we were picking out sections of these songs to play. I clipped it and I didn't realize that I clipped it right at this moment. So when when the song comes up when we play it for you, it's just water and then just jumps in. Mm-hmm. Shall we? Yes. <laughs> water water it sounds like Darth Vader like choking on his own fucking spit like, are you right sir water yeah water <laughs> but goddamn grooving moving some of this song has like some cowboy element shit to it like some western riot feel. riot dead redemption yeah yeah so do some cowboy shit to this song but I will take say, that in the context. Real yes, quick. <laughs> exactly. It's different than their other stuff. I w- will say that it's not the strongest track on this one. This is like their play is safe song. Honestly, it doesn't suck, but it also doesn't push the envelope. No. Now, a little bit more context. This album is a progression of story, basically. Yes. So, Jungle Fury. It if you. Go into the Monster Cat like YouTube channel, whatever. They do have a comic strip for this whole album. And Jungle Fury is like these two scientists going through the jungle and they find this ancient like machine like box or some kind of like relic that has this entity in it that they release and it's like, oh fuck, existence now. So that's going on. Disorder is basically these two guys, which is the band, the duo riot basically. Just 
dealing with all the chaos and everything from what's going on. Blackwater is another part of the world where there's these three cowboy, cowgirl, one person. Um, it's a marauder, a ranger, and some other person, a thief or something like that. And they're traveling through the desert trying to get through the chaos that's ensued from this release of this machine. And they're eventually going to meet up with, you know, everybody else. Now we get into Desert to Desert, which is basically Blackwater's desert. It's another interlude, basically. Right. Little bridge into the next part. Literally a bridge Mm -hmm. over the water. Water. The black water. Again, orchestral, vocal. I think I said either about this one or the other interlude. It sounds like MMORPG music. Mm Mm-hmm. So now we go in from the desert of the Texas to the desert of the Middle East. Yeah. Where the song title literally translates to yes in Hebrew. Mm-hmm. Iowa. Yes. Yes. Like, that's what it just... Chocolate. Yeah, but that's that's why we say yes, because this song kicks you in the balls, and you're just like, that hurt, but yes. Yes. I approve of this. Like, this song is nuts. Because After it kicks you in the nuts. Yeah, literally. Because <laughs> there's so much happening, and then it just breaks into this, like, like Arabian, you know, Middle Eastern kind of feel to it. That's what I was going to say. That's my favorite part of this fucking song, is after, like, during the third act, as I will call it, the third drop, the traditional instruments that are played and the arrangement is just so well done and a very welcome addition to the rest of this album as a whole. Are you glad to be here, Awa? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. We move on from that kick-ass track to the to- fucking people you don't want to ever piss off. The fucking mob. Yeah. Dump not the mob, but the mob. Get your ass up. We know how to turn it up. Turn it up. Yeah, you do. Turn it up. What are you doing out there? Turn this up. Listen to it. We're grooving. You should be too. Swerve your car. Do what you do. I feel real gangster listening to this song. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, turn it up. We told you to turn this motherfucking shit up. Get get your ass up. It's good shit, dude. I'm telling you. Y'all out there, you don't know what you're missing if you don't fucking have this album. It's just as simple as that. Buy it or the mob will come tear your legs off. Have you ever seen the artwork to this song? Yeah. I mean, it's if you actually look at the artwork, it's like these venom-looking creatures attacking these three people. And they're they're literally fighting a mob of them off, like one by one, knocking heads off and turning it up and getting their asses up. <sighs> yeah. Fucking lit. Getting their asses torn up. It's lit, yo. Now make it lit. But it brings us to the last interlude of the album called Last Stand. And again, now, this is menu music. Yeah. <laughs> this is basically you're picking your party for the final fight. Which is very funny because the fucking song after this okay, so fits so well. Like I said, every song is a story about some group of people evolved with the chaos happening in the world. So, like I said, there's Jungle Fury that has their set of people, Awa and all them. They're all basically meeting up at the last stand. And the art, the artwork to this next song shows that and shows what the full strong force of the entity is. And that is the track Overkill. Now, I've said this before. This will probably kick you in the fucking face so hard that you will feel it in your ass. So if you want your ass blown out, stay in the room. You better be fucking headbanging this shit. I will come to your house directly and kick you in the nuts. Yes. Scream. Are you out there screaming? Uh, Fucking better be. Yes. You are riding into battle. You're fighting. And you're beating ass. And you're kicking ass. 
Like, how do you not get the fuck down to this shit? The guy at the gym is literally destroying the whole gym at this point. The gym is gone. Yeah. It doesn't exist. Treadmills. He's, fuck. He's destroyed it to the point that he's having to take fucking bar structure, put cinder box on each end, and lift that shit. Yeah. And then he's still going to go wreck it somewhere else. He's that fucking person that's like weight lifting, like dead lifting. He's like, more. <laughs> more. More. He's like, what's his face from Double Dragon? Yeah. The big motherfucker. Or like Zoidberg from Futurama when he's going back to his home planet. Fucking. He's like, more weights. More weights. More. More. Like overkill. Literally overkill. Yeah, literally overkill. This song, definitely our top song. Yeah, this is our favorite song on this whole thing. It's chaotic. It's out there. It's nuts. It's going to fucking kick you in the nuts. You're going to fucking enjoy it. You're going to headbang your head off. You're going to destroy the gym. <laughs> yeah, you're going to destroy the gym along with the fat and the yeah. laziness. <laughs> Kill it with confidence. You got to make confidence your bitch. Overkill it. <laughs> Press it. Which brings us to the, we'll get there, part of the album. Usually, I... Okay, I don't. I'm gonna sound like an asshole for this, but usually I look forward to bonus tracks because you've heard everything that's happening so far, right? You've heard the consistency of this album, right? Right. Okay, dear listener out there, now don't get us wrong. We love this style of music, but after hearing everything, especially a killer end like Overkill, we get the bonus track called "Take That," and it's appropriately titled because it's almost just like they're just sitting here, like you've had this wonderful experience, and then they slap you. Take that! Look, I love horns and music just as much as you do, buddy. I love this funky ass beat, but I just got my ass beat with a blistering fucking guitar drenched metal fucking step of a song I do not want this no it, it, it's not that it's a bad song it just does not belong in this collection I feel like Monster Cat when Kids Bop with that song <laughs> like he said it, it, it's such a drastic turn like this ain't like 180 degrees this is like we're just gonna fuck off now <laughs> This is the shit that comes on commercials when you're... Okay, parents, this is the song that comes on during commercials on Nickelodeon. You're like, fuck. Like, like I can't I, explain I, it any like, better. I think this is what would drive a parent to buy this album. Like, just put this as the track that they're introduced to. It's like, oh, this sounds good for little Susie. I think I'll buy this music. And then they listen to the fucking bedroom just explode with overkill. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if anybody else's parents out there did this shit, but I definitely remember a time when I wanted to get the Beavis and Butthead experience on CD. And I remember being told, hey, okay, you can listen to this, but you can only listen to this, 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 and this on it because of certain song titles and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just kind of like, fuck, y'all know I'm going to be playing the whole goddamn thing in my headphones, right? So little Susie is like, oh, take that. And then like Cody says, overkill, just busting through the walls. She's going to wreck the fucking gym. The fucking Kool-Aid man shows up and busts her mom's fucking wall in. I mean, it's all the same, but still. Little 10-year-old Susie and a little summer dress is going to a fucking gym and just pressing weights like a boss. <laughs> she comes take in. that! She doesn't even have legs or torso. She's all arm and just fucking walks in, fists to the ground, carrying her fucking feet off the ground into the gym. She's like a fucking gorilla. Just <laughs> sits down to the fucking weight bench. And the dude next to her is like, you want some water? And she's like, more weights, please. Like really fucking <laughs> polite about it. <laughs> and then proceeds to destroy the fucking gym. Yes. Along with the dude that was listening to Overkill. So it's like Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong leaving a fucking Planet Fitness. Donkey Kong and Trixie. That's even better. <laughs> Can you imagine, like I said, just the mom, you know, making cookies or something downstairs, just all happy galore. Protein cookies. Yeah. <laughs> whey cookies. Yeah. <laughs> no, whey. Hmm. And what does she mix it with? Water. Water. <laughs> like she's just mixing the bowl and she just hears, kill them! Oh! What the fuck? What the hell has just happened? Go to the door, you just hear the fucking doors. 
<laughs> opens up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That's the Dogma Resistance LP. <laughs> Um, when you want chaos, go to Riot. Yeah. Literally only because of the bonus track and Black Order. I would have to give this one like a three and a half to 3.75 out of five. Because other than that, interludes included, it's fucking great. That's that's just me. I do enjoy Riot like so fucking hard, dude. Same. Like, it's hard. Yeah, I was, ha- I was sad when we missed them with Tokyo Machine. Seriously. Yeah. But... Yeah, I mean, I would have to say the same, but at the same time, I'm weird about Take That because I do like the song in some stupid-ass way. I'm just talking about the context of the album. The yeah. song's good, but yeah. it doesn't belong on this. Yeah, I know. And then, like we said, Blackwater, to me, just it feels like the safe song. like It's like the radio-friendly song, I guess you want to call it. So, yeah, I'd say about 3.75. We can agree on that one. Mm-hmm. And there you have it, 3.75 out of 5 for Riot's Dogma Resistance LP. Out on Monster Cat, go download the shit, go buy it, go stream it. It's everywhere. Just fucking listen and enjoy it. And then take that. I just expect a bunch of videos on like social media, just people thrashing in their cars back and forth, like, oh, raw, raw. Okay, so if you've... Here, here we go. We've got, Everybody's doing challenges on TikTok and all this bullshit. If you, get, if you listen to this fucking episode and you've never heard of these guys and you decide to buy it or stream it or whatever based on our episode give us a fucking upload of you headbanging to overkill just fucking post it on any of our social media channels facebook uh twitter at super media bros underscore or at super media bros podcast just tag us like we personally guarantee you'll headbang to that song yeah if not you'll get your money back you not never really. got any money in the first place exactly <laughs> Fuck yeah. It's like, okay, no, you like the music, subscribe to us because we guarantee you're going to headbang. If you don't, you can unsubscribe. There you go. (laughs) And then you can write a shitty review on on Apple Podcasts telling us how much we suck. We get that one review from Liz Susie. Yeah, they were right. I went to the gym the very next day and I'm a new woman. (laughs) I busted that shit up. (laughs) Thanks, Super Media Brothers. (laughs) Planet Fitness got fucked. (laughs) Planet Fitness lit AF. Exactly. Or any gym out there. I'm just saying Planet Fitness because that shit's everywhere down there. Yeah, it's the first thing we thought of. Yeah. But anyway, that's the Dogma Resistance LP. We fucking enjoy it. You will fucking enjoy it. I got nothing else. Come back next week for our 120th episode. Holy fucking hell, dude. But when we say next week... It's going to be like a couple days later because we're going to be releasing that one on a very special day, 420, because we're going to be doing Days and Confused versus Fast Times at Ridgemont High. So all you fuckers out there, light it up. Bang, bang, bang. 420 plays it. I'm doing finger guns. Like Luigi, bang, bang. (laughs) Bang, bang. Aha. Oh, that's a goal. You've heard our social media channels. Go to supermediabrospodcast.com. And download all of our shit or stream it, whatever you want to do. Support us on Patreon and Coffee.com. Do all the things. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Buy some merch from us. And like you said, rate and review us. It really does help. Regardless if you think we suck or not, it does help. Like I said, you can tell us how much that our opinion about these guys were wrong. It's like, no, I didn't have bank at all. No, I did not riot. I was like, hmm. No. <laughs> Did you like the album Super Media? No, I did not. Well, shit. We got to try harder in the next one. Shit. Whatever that one's going to be. We haven't decided just yet. TBA. Now now that we've done this, I'm thirsty. Put some water. I need some fucking water. <laughs> that was for your reviewing pleasure, episode 119. Until next week, I've been Midnight Agent Raw. And I'm Old Comedy. Shades on. Water. <laughs>